now we are going to start the revision of this chapter packing so what this chapter packing first of all is all about this chapter packing is all ab about you can say uh, about you can say very small activity that is packing which people otherwise think that it is of no it doesn't require any kind of skills okay so those students who have missed the classes or who have not listened it earlier so pay attention during revision days so that you can have the complete you can say understanding of the chapter and you will be able to give answers right so literature and all the topics would be prepared in the class okay so first of all we had packing okay so here in this chapter it is a story of three friends george harris and jeremy jeremy is of course the narrator jeremy. and the writer of this story who is sharing his experience so this is actually not a complete chapter but this is an excerpt so far we are going to do it okay so it is an excerpt which has been taken from um, from the famous novel three men in a boat so this chapter this novel also it of course clearly describe you can say it clearly describes the uh, you can say skill of the writer also see how simple activities like we are sometimes given so many of interesting situations to write but we people are not able to write and see how the simple activity of packing is given to him and he has written a complete novel over it hai na okay and he has he actually these three friends they were going on their journey on river and they were going on a river trip okay to river things okay and ultimately during that what kind of packing they need to do they were doing that and this is just a part of that okay now okay so in this chapter so first of all jerem has explained that he was always feeling pride of his packing skills why he was feeling pride of his packing skills because he thought that most of the people they don't know how to do packing but actually he thought that he is of course very much perfect in doing packing okay so for this reason what he thought when they were trying or when they were uh, when they had decided to do their packing in order to uh, start their journey so first of all what happened he told george and harris that he will do the packing actually what was his real intention his real intention what was his real intention his real intention was not to do the actual packing but actually to boss the job that he will just boss he will give orders how to do packing and all okay but ultimately what was the reaction of his two friends george and harris george he spread him over an easy chair and harris he walked his legs off so what is the reaction of his two friends george and harris what did george do speak louder all of you please table harris found his legs on the table. table so then he has also shared his experience that of course it was not with him like one time he was living with a man who would put his hands in his pocket and would move on one side to another but he said i am not of that sort person i am not of that sort that he would loll on the sofa or he would put his hands in pocket and would do nothing okay so he would like to do things himself so this is the thing that he has explained so when he started packing okay so he has finished the packing he has packed all the things required okay then what happened when he has finished packing his friend harris he pointed out him what question he has asked ha huh. whether he has packed his goods inside or not and to this means uh, jerem get annoyed because he thought that while he was packing why he has not you can say pointed it out to me why only at the end of the packing he has reminded me that whether i have packed my boots inside or not okay so to, to this what happened george gave an irritating laugh and this ultimately so what was the reason why you can say harris reminded him up only at the end to annoy him also or maybe it can also be there that he has noticed only at the end or it struck him only at the end so then afterwards he had opened up the bag again okay bag again he unstrapped it and he has packed the boots again okay then ultimately when he was when he has packed the bag again so what was the horrible idea that came to his mind yes then a horrible idea also came to his mind that whether he has packed his toothbrush inside or not okay so sharing about his experience about toothbrush what he has said he has said that 
toothbrush is a coarser thing that often haunts him. Okay, so what toothbrush is? It is a coarser thing that of often haunts him. He said whenever he has to do, has to go, you can say to any kind of journey, this is the one thing that always causes him perspiration. Okay, this idea or the uh, this idea always haunts him and he suffers from perspiration. And sometimes what he has to do, sometimes he, what he is doing in order to get rid of this haunting idea. What he said, he said that he has to pack it, okay, before using it. And on the morning of what he has to do, he has to open his bag again in order to in order to pack his toothbrush, uh, in order to take out his toothbrush again. And sometimes he forgets there only and when he is going to board the train or board the taxi then ultimately this idea again comes to him whether he has packed his toothbrush again or not then what will happen he will go again run back immediately upstairs to bring his toothbrush and ultimately put back in his pocket or slid back in his in his pocket uh, wrapped in a in a handkerchief. So ultimately what he has explained, he has explained that this is of course the idea that haunts him. Okay. So now, then afterwards when he has packed his toothbrush again, so he was, when he was, then again he has to unstrap the bag. So when he has unstrapped the bag, so he was find, finding the things and toothbrush related to George and Harris number of times. But where is his? He did not find. Finally, where this toothbrush was found, it was found inside one of the pools. Okay, so finally he has packed the bag again. Okay, and now he was not at all in a mood to reopen it because Jen George he also reminded him that whether he has packed the soap inside or not. But he said at that time it was 10 5 p.m. already, and he said I least bother for soap. Okay, I least bother for soap, and I don't I don't bother that whether I'm going to pack it or not. Okay, so now they have to start their journey. You can say when less than 12 hours are left. So he was, you can say, a bit conscious. Now everything bag was packed and ultimately now it is the time to pack the hamper. Now this job of, you can say, packing, it was taken over by George and Harry. So let us see that how many times Jerem has opened up the bag. Yes. First for Oops. second time for yes. third time for oh. so okay four times how four times spectacles spectacles yes spectacles right okay so now finally uh, then what happened that now it is the turn of George and Harris so now we are going to see in this chapter that who is the best spectacle. Okay, whether it is Jerem or George and Harris. So now what was the job of George and Harris to pack the hampers? So when they have started, they have of course started with quite, you can say, breaking, yes, with quite noise. First of all, what happened that they have broken the cup. A cup was broken. Okay, they, they broke the cup and that was not of course a good start. Then Harris, what he did, he packed strawberry jam on top of tomatoes. Okay, and because of it, the tomato squashed and ultimately with the help of spoon, they have to take out the tomatoes out of the hamper. This is one example of humor. Okay, fun. This, imagine the situation that how he has packed strawberry jam, heavy bottle of jam over tomatoes. And then ultimately what happened? He's scooping down. Okay, then afterwards, then it was George's turn. Okay, so what he did, he has put his, he trod on butter. He has put his foot over the butter and ultimately then afterwards he was he has put it on the side table. Now finally they were doing all the things in a quite confusing manner. They were stepping on the things. They were putting their foot on the things. Sometimes they are putting the things behind them and then they are not able to find them. Okay. Then they packed pies at the bottom. This is of course not good example and put heavy things over them and smash the pies. Okay, so when we are going to write who is the best packer or why Jerem, okay, and who is not or George and Harris, they are not good packers. We will give these examples, okay. We will give these examples that they trod on butter, they were, they were so nervous, excited that they were stepping on the things, okay. Then they were putting 
things behind them. Sometimes they are not able to find those things again. They were packing pies at the bottom and heavy things over them, ultimately smashing the pies. Right? So now, and they spill salt over everything. Okay, they, what they did, they spill salt all over everything. And finally, what happened? Then the butter incident took place. Okay, they were finding the butter. They moved around George and Harris. They were moving around the room. And finally, they met in the center of, you can say, the room also. And George was saying that I have seen him place here. And finally, where it was? It was stuck at the back of It was stuck at the back of Harris. Okay, so now next afterwards, another character that is introduced in this chapter is Monto Morenci. So who is Monto Morenci? Okay, the dog. Okay, but dog is of course one of the main thing who is adding on troubles. Okay, who is adding on trouble? Okay, finally, what is what is the thing that he is coming around, moving around? everywhere okay intruding in everything every uh, you can say action that is being actually when pets we have in our house they are also doing this as you have the pets they are also doing things like that okay and it is also creating nuisance and sometimes whenever they were moving their hand in this manner it was the damp yeah, nose, nose of the dog that comes into their hand okay finally he is actually trying to uh, make this you can say complete conceit conceit means this complete phenomena okay or this complete job okay finally quite you can say tedious and cumbersome difficult for them okay he used to sit down on things okay and when these things are to be packed okay and finally what happened he has also put his leg into the jam okay he has put montmorency has put his leg into the jam and then what happened then he thought yes he thought that lemons they were rats and tried to hunt them in the hamper and kill three of them okay so finally finally what happened that then ultimately harry he hit him with the frying pan and finally the dog settles down finally at the end the packing was over at 12:50 okay and harris he sat on the big hamper okay that not, but he was hoping that nothing should be broken everything is fine there and finally what happened they finally went to beds and they were fighting over beds also okay and then finally now they are they had you can say bit of discussion over at what time to wake up as harris said that he would wake up at half past 6 okay at 6 then other one is saying at 7 finally they settled at half past 6 okay so george did not give any answer and ultimately he has put a bath tub there so that when he will wake up he would tumble down and a noise will be made and the others will also be away right this is all about this chapter packing okay so some of the questions let me ask you now you people will give me the answers for it okay now for the answers of this we can say first question is what kind of a man what kind of a man was the person with whom once lived with whom the author once lived what kind of person the man was with whom once the author lived what kind of he would simply move about around the house or around the room without doing anything okay he would not try to help him in any kind of work but but jerem what he said that he is not of that sort he is always you can say trying to it's not it, it's not always that he is only bossing the job but what actually he is doing that he is hmm, hmm. next yes he enjoys next question is why did george and harris have to pick up a tomato with teaspoon why george and harris yes george and harris they have to pick up tomatoes with teaspoon because george has packed tomatoes at the bottom and put strawberry jam at the top of these tomatoes because of this what happened the tomatoes squashed the tomatoes squashed and ultimately what happened 
they have to scoop it out they have to scoop it out now the next question is the author say i am i have never saw hmm i have never saw one or two pence worth of butter in my whole life what did george and harris do with the butter and ultimately they were trying to find you will explain the complete butter incident here who will explain complete butter incident first of all george thought of butter after that he placed it uh, on the side of the chair when harris 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 said on it hmm and then he uh, the butter was then placed in a platter which was then stuck and had to be moved uh, out whatever whatever was left and then placed on the chair After that, Harry sat on the chair, and then it was stuck on his back. They uh, moved around the room and came back and checked to find uh, find out that it was all that time stuck uh, at Harry's back. At mm -hmm. Harry's back. Okay. So next is next question is, do you think? Why did narrator Jerem volunteer to do the packing? Why did Jerem? Hmm. He was confident of his. As he was confident of his. Yes, he was a. He is a best packer, of course. Okay. Now, now I. Now I must like that. What was the narrator intend to convey? I may not. I I'm not like that. I'm not like that. When he said so. Yes, when the other person he remembered the other person who is lolling on the sofa without helping him in doing in any kind of packing. So at that time, what has happened? He has said this sentence that I'm not of that sort. Okay, I'm not like that. Okay, that who is of course you can say free and lolling on the sofa without doing anything. Okay, so. Why does the narrator say that packing of a toothbrush drives him to a point of madness? Why does the narrator say that packing of a toothbrush drives him to a point of madness? Why? Oh, he has packed his toothbrush. Then what he has to do? He has to put it aside without packing. Okay, sorry, sorry. He has to pack it without using. Then afterwards, in the morning, again in order to use it. Then, then ultimately, ha. Huh. Okay, he has to find it out whether he has used it or not. And ultimately, finally, he has to. Wrap it back in a handkerchief and slid into his pocket. Okay. Why did Harry tell Jerem that he encourages the antics of Montmorency? Why he said so? Why did Harry tell Jerem that he encourages the antics of Montmorency? That he was encouraging Montmorency. Why he said so? He was coming around. He was means including in each and everything. Okay, he took you can say lemons like that of rats, and Harris was not at all stopping Montmorency from doing all these things. And finally, what happened when Harris? What he has to? He has he landed him with his right hand. It means that he hit uh, the head of Montmorency with his right hand. And at that moment, he said that it is only he who is encouraging these antics of Montmorency. Okay. But what was the reply of uh, his friend Jerem? Ha. Huh. According to Jerem, what was the answer that this kind of dog, who is so naughty in nature, he did not require any kind of encouragement. It is of course natural, and he is born like that. Okay.
okay he is born like that fine what did harry say after the bag was shut and strapped and why do you think he waited till then to ask whether he has packed his boots or not why he said so in the end only maybe he was waiting to just waiting to see right so ultimately what does the narrator he want to deliver us through this so yes it needs efficiency it needs planning it is not a frivolous activity it is less activity as we used to think okay one should be skillful one should be accurate in his judgment also uh, completely in his senses in order to do the practice okay so this is all about the revision of this chapter now if you have any doubts you can ask me